Shakti as experienced by the enlightened. The first of the manifested three treasures is the historic Buddha Shakyamuni, who through his perfect enlightenment realized in himself the truth of the Itai Sambo. The second is the Dharma, which comprises the spoken words and sermons of Shakyamuni Buddha wherein he elucidated the significance of the Itai Sambo and the way to its realization. The third includes the immediate disciples of the Buddha Shakyamuni and other followers of his day who heard, believed, and made real in their own bodies the Itai Sambo that he taught. Of the abiding three treasures the first is the iconography of Buddhas which have come down to us. The next is the written sermons and discourses of Buddhas as found in the sutras and other Buddhist texts still extant. While the third consists of contemporary disciples who practice and realize the saving truth of the Itai Sambo that was first revealed by Shakyamuni Buddha. The three treasures are mutually related and interdependent. One unrealized in the Itai Sambo can neither comprehend in depth the import of Shakyamuni Buddha's enlightenment nor appreciate the infinite preciousness of his teachings nor cherish as living. Realities Images and Pictures of Buddhas Again, the Itai Sambo would be unknown had not it been made manifest by Shakyamuni in his own body and mind and the way to its realization expounded by him. Lastly, Without enlightened followers of the Buddha's way in our own time to inspire and lead others along this path to self-realization. The Itai Sambo would be a remote ideal, the saga of Shakyamuni's life desiccated history, and the Buddha's words lifeless abstractions. More, as each of us embodies the Itai Sambo, the foundation of the three treasures is none other than one's own self. Three Worlds this is another classification of reality according to Buddhist cosmology. These three consist of, in ascending order, the domains of desire, form, and non-form. Dwellers in the first and lowest level are still strongly attached to the senses. In the second are those who have bodily form but no longer cling to the world of the senses. The inhabitants of the third are without corporeality, that is, a condition akin to pure consciousness. In Zen these are also considered as dimensions of human consciousness. Takuzan Senken Another of the great masters of the Tiang. He is the subject of Svriel Koans, of which one, the 28th case of Mumen Khan, tells how he attained enlightenment through his master's blowing out of a candle. Tozan Ryokai The first patriarch of the Soto sect in China and formulator of the Five Degrees. Umyan Bun En a noted master of the late Tiang, who, like Lin Qi, used vigorous language and jarring tactics to bring his disciples to self-awakening. The circumstances of Yun Men's own enlightenment are known to all Zen students. Seeking Dakuzan with Mujo, later to become his master, Yun Men rapped on the little door on the side of the large gateway leading to Mu Chu's temple. Mujo called out. Who is it? And Yun Men answered, Wen Yen. Mujo. Whose habit it was to refuse Dakuzan to all but the most ardent truth seekers. Felt satisfied from Yun Men's knock and the tone of his voice that he was earnestly striving for truth, and admitted him. Scarcely had he entered when Mujo, perceiving the state of his mind, seized him by the shoulders and demanded. Quick, say it, say it. But Yun Men not yet understanding, couldn't respond. To jolt his mind into understanding, Mu Zhou suddenly shoved him out through the partly opened door and slammed it on his leg, shouting. You good for nothing. With a cry of ouch. Yun Men, whose mind at that moment was emptied of every thought, suddenly became enlightened. Vairochana. The All-Illuminating One. Of the non-historical Buddhas, Vairochana is supreme, symbolizing cosmic consciousness, that is, Transcendental Buddha Knowledge Vajra Literally, Diamond or Adamantine The symbol of the highest spiritual power Which is compared with the gem of supreme value The diamond, in whose purity and radiance other hues are reflected while it remains colorless, and which can cut every other material, itself being cut by nothing Wu Wei this controversial Taoist term has the literal meaning of non-doing or non-striving or not making. It does not imply inaction or mere idling. 
we are merely to cease striving for the unreal things which blind us to our true self. Yamaraja In Buddhist and Hindu mythology, the Lord, or judge of the dead before whom all who die must come for judgment. Yamaraja holds up the mirror of karma. Wherein are reflected the good and evil deeds of the deceased. Who then consign themselves either to a happy realm or, where their deeds have been preponderantly evil, to frightful tortures, of which swallowing a red-hot iron ball is one. Yaza. Zazen done after 9 p. m. The usual bedtime hour in the Zen monastery. Yin and Yang. In Chinese cosmology, the principle of polarity, namely, earth and heaven, female and male, etc. Yoga. In its widest sense the Sanskrit term embraces the whole complex of spiritual disciplines including doctrines and bodily postures and breathing exercises for achieving unity with universal consciousness. In the popular mind, yoga is synonymous with hatha yoga, a branch of yoga which emphasizes breathing exercises and postures for attaining this end. Yoga is also commonly associated with physical or mental health or supernormal powers. In Mahayana Buddhism the term has been employed chiefly to describe disciplines and doctrines of the tantric sects. Yoga Jengaku A great Zen master of the Tiang period and a disciple of the sixth patriarch. His song of realization is a popular Zen writing. Zazenkai A one-day gathering of Zen practices for the purpose of doing Zazen, listening to a Zen lecture, and receiving Dakuzen. Zazen Yajinki this well-known writing on the practice of Zazen is by Kizan Zenji, one of the ancestors of the Japanese Soto sect. It was written in the 14th century. Zen. An abbreviation of the Japanese word Zena. Which is a transliteration of the Sanskrit Dhyana, that is, the process of concentration and absorption by which the mind is first tranquilized and brought to one-pointedness, and then awakened. As a Mahayana Buddhist sect. Zen is a religion free of dogmas or creeds whose teachings and disciplines are directed toward self-consummation. That is to say, to the full awakening that Shakyamuni Buddha himself experienced under the bow tree after strenuous self-discipline. In Japan, the Zen sect embraces the Soto, Rinze, and Obaku sects. Zendo A large hall or room. In large temples or centers, a separate structure. Where Zazen is practiced. Zenji. The last syllable of this word is the euphonic rendering of shi, meaning teacher or master. The entire expression thus has the meaning of great or renowned Zen master. The title is usually conferred posthumously, though some masters have achieved this distinction during their lifetimes. Pronunciation Guide to Japanese Words. <laughs>